Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Clay Ramage. I have another um, haul video today. <laughs> Sorry, I drew a blank there for a moment. This stuff we actually picked up at a church sale, which is just a few blocks from my shop here. Um, and I, I happened to be at another store that I ran into a reseller who told me about it. I didn't even know what was going on and it's right in my neighborhood. So uh, I'm glad she did. And I did run into Karen there. So hi Karen, if you're watching this video and uh, found some good stuff um nothing earth shattering or anything but some nice things for resale uh, i was excited to uh, find a number of pieces of uh, artwork that can be a need to be cleaned up let's just put it that way so anyway why don't we just get into it? it's a small haul and uh, when you're seeing this is i'm actually pre-recording a number of things because we're going to be on vacation the end of october into the beginning of november and so I won't be um, doing any new videos during that time. So I'm pre-recording some videos to fill in that space while we're gone. And this is one of those. So, um, yeah, if you don't see these items in my eBay store, then more than likely they went down to the pink elephant. And, uh, yeah. So, and if they're in the eBay store, please go ahead and grab them. All right. Um, let's see, where do I start? I picked up, an, like I said, a number of pieces of artwork. And they were all the artwork was 25 cents or 50 cents so I got these for 50 cents these are some awesome mushroom cruel work so there's three of them all matching wonderful mid-century look 1960s ish and um, they need a little cleaning but for $1.50 uh, the fact they're mushrooms all of them match um, yeah, I should be able to get about $10 each for these. So that's a great deal. And then I uh, found some additional cruel work. And there is a set of five of these spice pieces. Now these are really dusty. So they got a lot of dust bunnies hanging on them. So these desperately need to be cleaned. So that was cloves. Oh, I got two nutmegs, but they're different. That's kind of cool. I didn't even notice that. I just grabbed them all. Then there's a cinnamon. And this one isn't a spice <laughs> it's a bee pod with a little ladybug but i just thought they were adorable these are going to be more like five dollar pieces um and these i'm not sure if i would put on ebay or put them down the pink elephant um but yeah they were just nice and again those were a quarter each so again couldn't pass it up and then this frame was a quarter each was a quarter it's just a little it's a plastic gold um, frame but couldn't pass it up and there are two different um, little mats that somebody cut out for them so must add some smaller pictures in there so that was a nice find for a quarter then for another quarter I picked up this frame and you guys may remember I broke another frame the glass in the frame couple days ago well by this time it's probably close to a month but anyway I broke it so I picked up this thinking it may fit in there if not it's just a great little frame by itself for a quarter then for also for a quarter I picked up this piece of artwork it's hand-painted feather artwork from Costa Rica and these tend to do really well these are depending upon the subject matter this one's a parrot so he's on the lower end if it was a lizard or something like that they would do a higher price um, but this is going to be a 15 to 20 dollar item um, I just need to get this crazy label off of there somebody put on there which we can do then I found a couple books this one is called the English orphan by Holmes this was a woman author 1923 is the date um, but I love the interior graphics on the interior pages those quadrifoil design Kingsport Press United States of America so nice little novel again this is about a ten dollar book it's not a spectacular thing and then I picked up this one too this is a Nobel library they had a number of books with uh, well-known authors that they combined into this series and I just noticed I didn't look but it's got some foxing along the edge there um, but it doesn't smell so that's good but anyway so again this is like a ten dollar book too five to ten dollar not as much as i thought it was going to be but books were 50 cents each so then my 
favorite find was this. <laughs> and this is again a cruel work piece. Um, no one understands my generation, says every generation. Um, I just thought it was great. And of course, because it's peanuts, that adds to it. I paid $2 for it, so I couldn't pass that up. This they actually had in their, what they called their boutique section, which was a little nicer things, but their prices were still unbelievable. So, so yeah, so I uh, got this. I'm still not sure if it's a good one to put on eBay because of the size or if I'm going to put it down to pink elephants. So probably, and it's in excellent condition, probably put it down at the pink elephant. But anyway, I don't know. these are all those tough decisions I have to make. Then the last thing I did was I picked up two record albums. Again, I am not a record album person, but I pick them up when I see them. They're 50 cents each. This is a Boston record, and this is the Blue Oyster Cult. So these are $8 to $10 records, both of them. So again, a good investment for 50 cents. You can't beat that. And the records themselves, I checked them out, are in excellent condition. Um, no scratches or anything like that. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time.